Hello friends, as always that's me on Tom Pavlinov and the Food Hacker. Looks like this is your favorite rubric, where I teach you two tricks, one of which is simple and the second is a bit more complicated. Therefore, I won't hold you up any longer, and now we are gonna master useful and effective tricks together with Danny. What's up? So you're ready Danny? Yeah. Great, let's go! So, the first trick for today is called the Bill Killer Pana. It's very often used by Sean Garnier, and it's not surprising, I was convinced by my own example of its effectiveness. Let's start. Start in position. With the sole of a weak, outstretched leg, we firmly press the ball to the ground and on the side of you, not in front. The first step is to roll the ball behind us and change the standing leg and already with the working foot we catch it behind us. The second step, with the laces of your working foot, roll the ball forward and keep the foot up in the air. Next move, when the opponent reaches for the ball and opens up, all that remains is to hit the ball through his feet in an arc. Namely, first kick the ball with the inside of the strong foot and then with the weak one. And a very important note. For the trick to work, we need to pause between the second and the third steps. If there was no pause, the move will become similar to the elastico. But the essence of the move is to lure the opponent to the ball, create the illusion that you have lost it. He just needs to stretch his leg to take it away. But at this very moment, we are already doing the third step as quickly as possible and execute a pana. Good. Stop. The first mistake, the ball hit the standing foot. Try it again. Yeah. Yeah, on a second try, now that's right. Exactly, bravo! Friends, before moving on to a bit complicated trick, I remind you that your activity helps develop my channel a lot, in the form of your likes, comments and reposts. Therefore, I thank you very much, my friend, if you help me with this. Now let's switch to the second move. The idea of the trick called the Gypsy Pana is also to make the opponent open up with the help of these paws, but to make it in a little bit more difficult way, and it looks much more creative. To begin with, here you're gonna need a very simple freestyle skill, catching the ball between the legs. I've already explained in one of my previous videos how to do this, and if you are new here, I will leave a link in the card. Step number two, taking the working foot forward you should pretend you lost the ball and make it fall exactly on the edge of the foot of the standing leg. We want the ball to land softly and then move in the opposite direction from us. This is the most difficult moment in the trick, where you need to hit the right point very subtly. And if you succeed, then in the end we must return the foot to the ball and hit the pana with a sole. This is how the creator of the trick intended, but just in case you want to simplify the move, I think it'll be easier to hit the ball with the inside of the foot. Yeah, good job! Do it on me now. And again, follow the ball only if it rolls to that point. Good for you! Awesome! I'm telling you, today he studied these tricks for the first time. Good! It can be noted that Gypsy loves to add a dance to this fint, and I, for example, add a turnaround to this trick, so that it looks even more impressive. In general, you can do whatever you want with any move, so use your imagination and go! Well, that's all for today, friends. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, be sure to like and share it with your friends. It'll be very cool support. And if this is your first time on this channel, I advise you to click on the bell and subscribe buttons so as not to miss the most awesome videos about football tricks. See you soon! Всем пока.